here's my plan. Got some Kydex here, and I'm going to try to thermoform around this. And I'm going to do it in two parts. I want to do this short piece on this end first, because this is going to be removable. And I want it to slide up under the piece that's going to cover the majority of this. Batteries will sit in here, and I need to be able to take the cover off so I can charge them easily because I'm not running a BMS on this setup. Should have space to maybe shove a BMS in here eventually, but we'll work on that at a later date. So for now, what I did was built this press. I hot glued the buck down onto the deck, and then I cut some foam and glued it up. It'll fit down on here. So I'm hoping that when I put this together like so, and then clamp this end, that I'll be able to compress it good enough to get the thing to form down, let the plastic cool, see how it turns out. You need to take the Kydex, heat it up in the oven, and then give it a shot. Just built this out of scraps I had laying around. I had this foam already from working on my canoe. And then just a couple sheets of plywood some all thread I had laying around, two by four, and the pivot points could have been a little bit higher, I think, but it should be all right. All right, so here you can see there's a spot on this end for the wires to come out, so I'm gonna form the plastic over that, and then I'll be able to snake the wires under there to run out to the ESC, which will be mounted in a rear pod. This pod's just for the batteries in the front. All right, so now I'm gonna go put this Kydex in the oven, heat it slowly, and then I'll sandwich everything down on top of it, and hopefully we'll end up with this end of the, the mold down here. Looks like I cut this plastic a little long too. I'd rather have a little bit too much and trim it down later than too little. All right, I'm gonna go turn the oven on. I'm gonna go get the plastic. That was pretty tricky. <laughs> Seems like I need another shim or something. Not sure if I got it hot enough. And I forgot to preheat the mold. So I should probably do that as well. People say it helps better. First try, let it cool off for a little bit, see what happens. It's been about 15 minutes. I think we're ready to take this off, see what happened. get tighter into these corners. Maybe I'll try to see if I can uh, 
use the heat gun a little bit down in there. Here's the line I drew. Well, that's perfect with the line. That worked out pretty well. Here's the bottom of it. So maybe if I got a little bit hotter, it would tighten down into those corners some more. Put some more pressure down in there. These spots are pretty tight here. Let me try the heat gun some. Starting to look pretty good. A little bit more on this side here. I'm going to call this end good enough. Now I'm going to trim this down on the sander, down to the tape. So let's go ahead and cut this out close on the bandsaw and we can come back and sand it off to finish. Nice fit. Looks pretty good for now. Ready to move on to the next piece. All right, it's all clamped down. So we'll see how it turns out. It's been about 15 minutes, so we can start taking this apart. Big wrinkle over here. 
but overall not too bad. So I need to finish forming these couple spots here that didn't get done well when I clamped it. And to keep it from sliding around as much, I'm gonna put a couple dabs of hot glue under here. All right, so here we go on the band. So I'm just gonna trim outside this rough line I made. I'm gonna tape this off here, mark it, and then take it to the sander. I cleaned the glue off of here, most of it at least, the hot glue that I put on there. I put this back on, snap it on there, take some painter's tape, I'm gonna line it up with the shortest side over here. Just trying to make this line kind of straight across here. We'll take this over to the sander and sand this part off. So what my plan is, is to bolt this down to the board permanently with my batteries tucked under here, I'm running four 3S 5000 milliamp hour LiPos that fit right under here. So this will be bolted down. This cover here, I'll be able to access. I'll put thumb screws here. And the plan is to just slide it under like that. Put a couple of thumb screws in, and then the whole thing will be sealed up pretty well. Keep my batteries in there tight keep all my connections in there and I can just run the two main wires out. I'm going to make another pod back here just for the ESC. So the ESC will be mounted back here and then two wires going up to the batteries. So that's it for today. 
Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos, sharing this with you so you can learn how to do some of these things yourself, um, or just see how I do them, and I'm just figuring out as I go, a lot of this stuff I've never done before, figured you guys might want to see how it goes along the way.